you can now pre-order your Atari VCS from Walmart and GameStop. Yay! Right? The system, we've been talking about this thing for the past year. The Indiegogo campaign was from about a year ago. And there's a lot of people who are interested. They made some millions. I'm sure all that money's been spent by now with all the people they've signed to the project. Uh, the issues they've had with Fergal Mac and his legal battles against them. And, and the production, the development of this thing. I mean, it's time to start making some money, right? So... That's why they're putting these things out for pre-order. They got to make that money. I, I, I mean, I don't blame them on that, but we got a little bit more information concerning the launch of this device, but I'm still baffled. I'm still uh, just having this feeling of what's really going on here with this thing. So pre-orders open up 249 and above. 249 is just for like nothing. Check this out. So there's a few different options here, and it's kind of it's kind of funny. Walmart's getting a special edition with this Kevlar gold design, right? That looks that looks hideous. <laughs> but you've got a few different versions here. The Atari VCS 400 model has 4 gigs of RAM and costs 249 bucks. Doesn't come with she is. It's just 249 bucks. If you want to get a RAM upgrade, you can get the 8 gigabyte 800 version for 279 bucks. Or you can get a complete console, like, you know, the stuff you actually need to play the games for $389 for an all-in-one version, which is just ridiculous. $389, that's akin to you buying a new console that's available on the market now to get ready to game, like buying a Nintendo Switch, $300, buying a PlayStation 4, Three hundred dollars, an Xbox One, couple hundred bucks. You know, you can get an Xbox One S or an Xbox One Sad, and you know you're looking at two hundred, two hundred fifty bucks. Sure, there's premium, the Pro, the Xbox One X, stuff like that, and you'll pay a little bit more. But even still, right now you can get a PlayStation Four Pro for three hundred fifty dollars, and get gaming. This system, the Atari VCS, isn't even comparable to you know the PlayStation or the Xbox this is a underpowered system now granted that's not a huge issue you know the Nintendo Switch is using old tech and they're doing fairly well but my issue with this thing is it's coming out fairly soon for the Indiegogo backers yes they're taking pre-orders on Amazon or not Amazon not yet anyway not that I've seen I mean Walmart and GameStop and even GameStop I think I read on here like the, the Onyx version with the red highlights. Uh, this one right here, the back, it has red highlights. That one's only available through GameStop, right? Everybody's got to get their sweet little exclusive. But the backers for the Indiegogo campaign, they're getting their system in December, supposedly, unless something happens in December. Anybody who pre-orders these from GameStop and Walmart, you're getting them in March. So fair. I always say, and you know, some people have argued with me on this, just because you backed doesn't mean you should get it first. I think you should. You helped the company get the stuff together and get that ball rolling. So definitely kudos to them if they get this out to the backers first. But we're talking six months away. This is going to fly. Where are the game announcements? Where's everything going on with this? You know, there's so much controversy with, the fake Tempest, whatever, 4,000 footage, supposedly, um, you, know, it, it, you know, there's a whole controversy with that. We don't need to revisit it, but initially the developers say, we didn't make this for the VCS, and, you know, and then all of a sudden it was like, no, we're good, everything's good, and, you know, the images they showed, the videos they showed, it just looked like they were running off of something else, um, but who cares? I mean, I'm sure the system could run it fine. Even then, it was just a thing like, is this even made for the system? But we don't know any games other than whatever Atari's got. I mean, how many times do you want to have access to old school Atari 2600 games? These guys have still been pimping out their properties to everyone. So it's it's not like there's been little to no access. It's not like, you know, the big 
thing to me with uh, Konami announcing the Turbo Graphics and PC Engine Mini, like that was kind of cool because we haven't had a lot of access to those games previously. I think the most a- the last time we really had access to uh, Turbo Graphics games was the little handful of stuff they put up on 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 like the Wii Shop and whatnot. And there's some cool stuff with that, but besides that, we haven't really had a ton of access to that. Atari, there's been tons of access. So, yeah, uh, who's sold on this without even knowing what the heck you're getting? Forty nine dollars for the classic style controller, fifty nine for the modern gamepad. They do have their their specs and everything updated on their Indiegogo, Atari VCS, and peripherals tech specs. The system's going to be three pounds, plastic, metal, wood. Okay. The Atari Custom OS, Linux kernel, AMD, Raven Ridge 2, APU, GPU, Ryzen, 32 gigabytes eMMC, internal, unlimited, external, nice, cloud storage with a subscription. RAM, 8 gigabytes DDR4 RAM, upgradable. That's like for the uh, the 800 version, right? So, I mean, there's, they're creating that disparity, too, with the RAM. I mean, is it just going to be used for loading things quicker? I mean, is that how it's going to be utilized? Or is this going to be utilized for actual games that use that upgrade? I, I don't know. I mean, it, it is what it is. Compatible systems, Linux, Windows, Steam OS, and Chrome OS. What does that mean? Compatible systems. Okay, yeah, they did list it's the Atari 800 system. So there's no confusion there. Uh, you know, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, HDMI 2.0, gigabit, Ethernet, four USB 3.1 ports. Four of them, two front, two rear, classic joystick, modern, microphone, others to be announced. Mouse and keyboard support, yes, USB or Bluetooth, 4K video. I don't think 4K is necessarily a big thing at the moment. Internet connection, not for classic gaming, but required to access the features. And then they have specs for their classic controller, rotating center joystick with paddle function. Yes, everything, yes. You didn't have to put yes, just list these are the features. Like, would you put rumble and then put no? Sorry, there's no rumble. Headset jacket, no. Okay, whatever. 16 ounces, one pounds. Modern controller specs. Headset jack, no. All right, thanks for making that clear. 16 ounces, they're both 16 ounces. Why did we launch Atari VCS on a crowdfunding platform? We already know, man. So you could offset the risk to somebody else. That's what it boils down to. But yeah, this is coming out pretty soon if you're looking forward to it. Why would why would you why would you have a hyperlink here? GameStop, Walmart. I would think that that would lead to the pre-orders, right? GameStop. Let's let's see what they got available here. Atari VCS. Does GameStop have exclusive bundles? Like you know how how they would always do with other things. Uh, VCS Onyx all in one all in bundle, three hundred eighty nine bucks. They got the release date listed at the end of the year, but that's not right. That's for the backers. So if you pre order this thing, make sure you understand you're not getting it until March. Maybe the four hundred bundle. Okay, I mean, I wonder if they have any special information on here. Let's take a look. Free shipping. You can get this ship for free, my friends. Let's see. Uh, nothing really. Look at the controller. You get the little red right trigger. Okay, not bad. But, you know, you get the, through GameStop, you're getting a black version, the Onyx version. It has the red highlights on the back, so you'll never see it. But look, the PlayStation 1 terabyte days of play, $300, man. $300. But that's where it's at. I'm just curious, where are the freaking games? This thing's coming out in a few months. Yeah, it's coming out to the rest of the world a few months later than that. But where's the announcements on the games? Where's the boom in your face? This is this is what you're getting. This is what you're going to have access to. I haven't seen anything with games for a system that's coming out this soon, you would think they'd be hyping up, hey, we signed this person, we got this person. You see all these other companies who are putting out devices and they're 
they're showing off games. You, you know, the the one thing I could I can think of is the um what was what was that handheld that we've been talking about? <laughs> um geez, why can't I think of that handheld right now? Oh man, I guess I just woke up. But they're they're the the um the retrocade thing, you know, they're they're showing uh they're showing games left and right that they're getting you know uh deals for they're getting licenses for uh, everybody's showing games no matter if it's just not even that you know that exciting of a game people are showing games i haven't seen crap with this start showing the games because people are start going to start getting worried with this thing you know you're trying to get more pre-orders get more interest to make that money and that's fine do what you got to do but at the same time, all I'm seeing is this is the library of games. Some Atari 2600 games, Adventure, Tempest, Sword Quest, Asteroids. I don't care. These things play on ass games machines just fine. And you guys have uh, put out those flashback collections for uh, systems, for consoles and whatnot, with access to a lot of these games. So it can't. It, we cannot be selling this thing I mean, not me, but you, the Atari VCS crew, you cannot be selling this thing off of Atari 2600 games featuring Radeon graphics technology with 4K HDR video because who cares? It's Atari 2600. Show us some new stuff. Pong. We got Pong. Where's Custer's Revenge, right? I, this is like, this is a joke. Where's the games, man? <laughs> That's my biggest concern, but just want to give you guys a heads up. These things are available for pre-order if you really want one. But where are the games? I don't know, and I don't think too many other people know either. So really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this rant and ramble time. I'm just baffled with these guys, man. More power to them, but whatever, right? Show us the games. That's what it always boils down to. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Uh. And boom!